How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video and today we're going to be talking about the Luxstat, loot and how everything comes together. It's been a controversial topic as of late with loot dropping for some people in the plenty and for some in not. There's been a lot of tinfoil crazy theories going out there, some credible, some not, some actually believable. So today we're just going to collect a bunch of stuff. We're going to go through the poll I did on both Twitter and my YouTube channel and just gauge how people are feeling and then basically put it all together and see if luck is actually a good thing a bad thing is luck okay the way it works should it be changed among other things so let's dive right in right so let's start with the polls as you can see on twitter we had a 32 percent that said yes leave luck the way it is whereas we had a resounding 68 percent that said no remove it on YouTube, we had a similar effect. We had 22% that said yes, leave it, whereas 78% of you actually said no, remove it. So we can see that in general, people don't want the stat there. And for good reason, in a game like Anthem, you don't want luck stat to be there in order to help you get gear, right? You want the gear to be dropping in plentiful because why? It's a PvE game. It's not a PvP game. So why should luck actually be there? Secondly, with a game that's got so many inscriptions, you want the gear to be dropping like this. Yep, that is Borderlands guys. As you can see, the loot is dropping in the plenty and legendaries are just dropping everywhere. This is how loot should be dropping in this game. Why? because the inscriptions are everything. Well, I say everything, but obviously it's not. Once it's fixed, it will be, right? Well, let's just assume everything is fixed with the inscriptions. Inscriptions is where it's at. You can get a ton of legendaries, but if the inscriptions are bad, the piece is bad. Why would you want someone to stack luck gear going into a GM3, GM4, GM5, or whatever you're gonna go into when they could be stacking stuff to make them even stronger? In a game like this, I just can't fathom why it's even there. The way they should do it is actually have the luck stat intrinsically at 100, and then as you go up your gear score until you get to max, you go into a different bracket. That actually works, right? And it makes more sense, and it's not consuming slots. So luck, is it working? Who knows? No one knows. I get really good luck at 213, but... We've already had confirmation that after 190, any luck is wasted. But if I drop below 200, I notice a stark reduction in drop rates. Again, this could be total RNG and completely bogus to my thing. We've got theories now where instances are rigged, where the moment you go into an instance, an RNG roll for the whole instance is made. And then the instance itself will actually roll with the RNG and dictate the drops you get. Again, I think this is complete bogus and crap because... Most of the instances I go into, either I get legendaries or other people get legendaries. So it can't just be the overall instance because other people are getting them. But this is a theory going out there. We have another theory where people go to Fort Tarsus, change their gear, and then go back in. You can change a component, a gear, anything you want. As long as you change an item in your forge and then switch it back. Apparently, this can dictate your pilot level stuff. Now this I can believe because loading your pilot data is a severe problem. And I do believe that the health UI glitch and other factors are related to this. When you load into Fort Tarsus for the first time, if your pilot data doesn't load correctly for the first time, everything in your profile is messed up and this will affect everything you do. So I do highly recommend going into the forge, changing some equipments and putting your gear back on to force the pilot data to refresh itself. I actually believe that this could be a fundamental reason as to why some people are not getting loot and some people are. So this one I can believe, but the bottom line is, is loot dropping enough? And in my honest opinion, the answer is no. Simply put, when you look at Borderlands and you're seeing the amount of loot that's dropping, the important thing in Borderlands is the actual perks of the weapon. And because there are so many perks, you want to get the right ones. Now getting the right ones is hard. Now if you're getting one legendary a day, compared to say 20, 30, 40 legendaries a day, and even then you're not going to be guaranteed a thing, 
it's going to be a hella hard to get what you want, right? So, in my opinion, things need to change. Sure, people are referring to the division and saying, look at the division and the way it's dropping loot. I think people have severely forgotten how classified gear was dropping. Classified gear was a pain in the ass to get. It didn't drop into plenty at all. In fact, only in the last few months of the Division 1 did they actually properly increase the drop rates for classifieds. And even then it wasn't enough. It wasn't dropping enough to make you be able to go farm them. You could go for 2-3 days without a single classified. The easiest way to get a classified in the Division was to simply go rogue and kill people that had it and take theirs and then extract it. I.e. PvP, i.e. griefing. Yes, it's griefing. I don't like it. Anyway, that was how the Division did it. The Division 2, I haven't reached endgame, so I assume they don't have classified gear yet. But if and when they do, you can bet your life that it's going to be harder to get the classified gear. Roll on legendaries. It's going to be the same, right? There's going to be no difference. But in a game like Anthem, where PvP isn't a thing, and the whole concept of Anthem is the power fantasy, I feel I feel loot should drop a lot more. It needs to drop a lot more, and it needs to drop like what you're seeing here, right? In the plentiful, so you can hopefully get the inscriptions you want. But, what about luck? Where does luck factor into all of this? I don't believe luck should ever factor into the quality of the gear you get. If they are insistent of having luck in the game, they should have a 3 tier system. Not a 10 tier system like they currently have now, but a 3 or 4 tier system where it affects the inscription rolls of your item. By this, what I mean is that it will increase the quality of them. So you won't get that 1% damage, but instead you'll get like 100% damage for having it. In my opinion, this is the way luck should work. However, I'm all for removing luck. I don't like luck. I don't think it has a purpose in this game. In other games like RPGs and stuff like that, I think it has a role. I think it has a place. But here in Anthem, I just don't see the reason to have it. I don't see a purpose for it. And I think luck in itself is just hurting it. And right now with all these theories of rigged instances and stats not loading and things like this. Well, the stats I actually believe is true because of the pilot error issues we're getting. And I think once they sort the pilot error issues, people will have a bit better. A much more of a better time in getting it but overall i think luck shouldn't be a stat in anthem there's a lot of people here that clearly agree with this this poll on my youtube channel had over 300 votes sure it's not much in the grand scheme of things but the overall majority as you can see here were saying that they don't want it there are many comments here that say that they don't understand how luck works and to be honest i don't think anyone actually knows 100 percent how it works because there's so many layers to this luck factor you've got the difficulty you've got mob difficulty you've got the instance you've got everything tying into it you've got your gear score you've got your luck level there's a lot of variables here for things to go horribly wrong and because of this i think this is why it's breaking it's just far too complicated if they want to add luck Make it so it's only on your gear. That way, even if your pilot data isn't loading, your gear is. And as soon as your gear loads, you know you're fine. So yes, I believe changing your gear can affect your drop rates. I believe the pilot data loading incorrectly is definitely affecting this. I also believe that when you load into Fort Tarsis, even if you don't get the pilot error, you're actually getting a pilot error. So honestly, Go into your forge, change a piece of gear, force the pilot data to update, and then go out. But, in terms of loot, we really need to be seeing loot like this. We really need to be getting loot in this plentiful. It's a looter shooter with four inscriptions on the top end gear, with two of them being epic perks, right? So we want to see the best gear. We want to see loot dropping and raining. I appreciate what Bioware are doing. I personally have noticed the drop rate increasing, but it's not enough in my opinion. I think it needs to drop more. And if it starts dropping more, even with the problems that are currently ongoing in the game, you'll find a lot more people are going to be satisfied while they fix the game. The simple fact is people want to see progression. And right now, there is no progression. I've been stuck on pretty much full masterworks for God knows how long. I still haven't got a legendary weapon that I'm happy with, so 
everything I'm using right now is masterworks. I can't progress. Even though I am getting legendaries, I'm getting components or duplicates, or I'm getting scout rifles, which I don't enjoy using at all. So I can't progress. However, if they were dropping like this, then I'd be progressing a hell of a lot faster. And once I finish my Colossus, I can move on to other classes and start enjoying other classes. But right now I can't do that because I want to min-max my Colossus. So this is a real problem and it's pushing a lot of people away. I think the luck stat overall is broken and the community are pretty much speaking and saying that they want luck out. It's an overwhelming percentage here. Again, it's only 310, 330 people that are actually voting in total between the two mediums. You know, it is, it is there. And there's a bunch of people on the Reddit. There's a bunch of people everywhere else that are basically saying just remove luck. There's no purpose for it. And if they do insist on keeping luck there, don't let it affect the drop rate of legendaries, masterworks or anything like that. Make it dictate how good your perks are. At least then you'll know that your chances of getting loot aren't affected by it. Well, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. I don't believe in the rigged instances, honestly. I believe that is related to the changing gears with your pilot level actually not loading incorrectly or your pilot data not loading incorrectly. So when you think about everything and put it all together, the rigged instances, the RNG, the people not getting drops and other things, I think it all comes down to the pilot data not loading and once they fix this which should be fixed in the next patch people will notice a stark difference but I don't believe it's going to reach the level that you're seeing on here on Borderlands and and for me to be like this but you know who am I to say what's right and wrong I'm just some random guy who enjoys video games likes to air his views appreciates that people are here that are listening to him but freelancers you know what I'm saying right change your gear when you get to the fort Reset your pilot data and then go out and hopefully you'll get better loot. But right now I think luck should just be removed. There's a number of inscriptions I think that should be removed from the game. Overall I think loot still needs to be buffed in the level it's dropping. Legendary should be dropping a lot more frequently once you get to a certain level. In fact make it so legendaries actually drop more once you hit a certain bracket in your gear score right? So once you hit like 500 or 600 make it drop more give it that increased bracket so people can go through the progression through the whites and the greens and the blues and the purples and the oranges and then the legendaries make it so legendaries can drop before that but once you hit that you know 600 sweet spot make it drop like rain then you'll have yourself a winner well let me know in the comment section below what you think and let's have a discussion about it until the next video remain legend